Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve systems of equations. In aesthetics it's very common to have six equations and six unknowns. If you are solving a 3D rigid body equilibrium problem, if you write summation of forces equals zero, that gives us three equations. And if you write summation of moment equals zero, we will get three equations. And if the problem is asking for six unknowns, then we have to solve all of them simultaneously. And it's very difficult to solve six equations and six unknown uh, using replacement technique. So we are gonna show you how to do it using matrices. So here I'm listing all my equation from equation one to equation six. First, I move all my known variables uh, to the right. I'm gonna change these six equations into matrix A, times matrix X equals B. So here I'm showing you my matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. So the X would be our variable, would be our unknown. And here I'm listing my unknown variable from AX to the end CY. And the order doesn't matter. First, write your unknown matrix, then we develop our coefficient matrix based on our unknown matrix. So each row is representing equation. We have six equations, so we're gonna have six rows. So our coefficient matrix is gonna be six by six, our unknown matrix six by one, and our known valuable values would be six by one. So let's look at the last equation and do the last equation uh, as an example. So for the last equation, AX, the equation doesn't have any AX, so the coefficient for AX would be zero. AZ, the equation doesn't have any AZ either, so the corresponding coefficient for that unknown would be zero. BY, the equation has a BY, and the coefficient is negative one here. So I have negative one. Then I will go to BZ, there is no BZ, so the coefficient is zero. CX, do we have any CX in the equation? Yes, and we have two, so negative two would be the coefficient. CY would be negative 1.75. CY equals, we have 692, so we write 692 on the other side. So we do the same procedure for all the equations. So we write our equation in form of a x equals b. So once we have our matrices, a, the coefficient matrix, x, our unknown, and then the b matrix, I know the b matrix, I know the a matrix, I don't know x, that would be my unknown, I want to find that. So I can say that a, uh, sorry, x, would be inverse of A, I multiply each side of the equation by inverse of A times B. And that's matrix multiplication. So this one would be six by six, this one would be six by one, and then the result would be six by one. But taking an inverse of a six by six matrix is not easy. So we always use uh, softwares and MATLAB is matrix lab, so it's designed for doing matrix multiplication. So if we are gonna use MATLAB, if I wanna find A, first you define A, you define B, and then your matrix A would be simply inverse of, use the command I and V, your matrix A times your matrix B and you have already defined A and B. The other approach would be X, A, backslash, B. So this uses a Gaussian approach, so this approach would use a Gaussian approach for solving an inverse of the matrix. And it's more efficient. So 
So I will recommend you use this A backslash B. And so these two are not the same. They're gonna give us a very similar uh, results, but this Gaussian approach would, would never fail if even if your matrix is populated with a lot of uh, zeros. So that way we can solve six equations and six unknown, or even uh, if we have more equations, we can solve it using matrix multiplications.